okay so today's problem name is online stock span let us see what the problem states we have to write a class stock spanner in which we collect daily prices uh, of some stock and return the span of stock of today's price okay so what is the meaning of span the span of the stock's price today is defined as the maximum number of consecutive days for which the price of the stock was less than or equal to today's price so what does it mean it will be simple when we look at this example that we were given so suppose these are the values that we will uh, that will be passed in the class so our output should be like this so look closely firstly we will get 100 so we go back and we see that 100 is greater than how many of the previous elements so we can see that uh, it is the first element so it is greater than the previous one element so the next element is 80 so we go backwards and see how many elements that 80 is greater than how many of the previous element so we know that 100 is greater so 80 is only greater than the or is greater than or equal to the today element so today is 80 only so its output should be 1 similarly 60 in uh, we go back we see that 60 is not greater than 80 so we have to give output as 1 so the next input is 70 we go back and we see yeah 70 is greater than 60 so the value that we have to return is has become 2 now and we go again back and we see whether 70 is greater than 80 no so these two values so our answer is 2 then 60 is there so we know that 60 is smaller than 70 so our answer should be 1 and then there is 75 so how many values 75 is greater than how many of the previous values you can see that 1 2 3 4 these four values so our output is 4 and similarly for 85 so that is what the problem is and let us just simply see how we are going to solve this this is the uh, these are the given values that will be uh, passed on to our class and I will be doing it with the help of a stack so this is the stack that will contain the array of integers and this is the result we will be returning uh, result at every call so let us see what how we are going to solve this first of all the element is 100 so I will enter 100 and its res that is its result is 1 because there are no previous elements so it is greater than only it is greater than or equals to only the current element that it's itself so we need to return this one and one will be returned here so the next value after 100 is 80 so we will check whether 80 is greater than or equals to 100 no so i will enter 80 and its result value is one only okay so now we will return one so after next call also we will be returning one only so now the next element is 60 and you can see that 60 is not greater than or equals to 80 so i will add 60 as it is and its result value is 1 and this will be pushed in the stack and we will return its result okay so after 60 the next value is 70 and now when we check whether 70 is greater than or equals to the last element yes so in such case what we need to do we need to pop out the last element and add its result value to the current result value okay so we are going to pop this uh, array of stack out and we are going to add its result value so current result is 1 and we know that the result of 60 is also 1 so I am going to add this one and I am going to pop this out this array okay from our stack and now we will check whether our current element that is 70 is greater than or equals 80 no so it's not greater now then the time is there to insert 70 okay so now we will have to push 70 in the stack and return its result value so its result value is 2 and we will be popping 70 in and its result value is 2 and return its result value so its result value is 2 and initialize result with 1 only for the next element okay and the next element is 60 so we will check whether 60 is greater than the last element no so simply 
push it in the stack with the value of result as one and return its result value. So its result value is one. Okay, so the next element is 75. So now we will check whether 75 is greater than the last element. Yes. So what we have to do, we have to pop the last uh, array out and add its result value. So popping 60 out and we know that its result value is one. So adding one to the current result and popping 60 out. Okay, so 60 has been popped out. We will be checking the value of array and we will adding the we will be adding the result. So that is the purpose of adding an array that has two elements in the stack. So we check from this value and we add this value. So we will check whether 75 is greater than 70. Yeah. So pop it out and add its result to here. Its result value is 2 and we will pop 75 out uh, 70 out of our stack. So now we will check whether 75 is greater than 80. No. So it's time for 75 to be pushed. Its value is 4. So 75 and its result value is 4. And now return its result value. So its result value is 4. And after this, we have to initialize our result value with 1 again. Okay. For the next element. And the next element is 85. So 85 is greater than this so we have to pop it out and add its val uh, result value in the current result value adding here 4 and popping it out similarly you can see that the next value is also less than our current element so i have to pop this one also out and add its value 1 to our current result so now we uh, know that 85 is less than 100 so time for 85 to be pushed and its result value is 6. So its result value is 6 and return its result. So its result is 6. So in this manner we can see that we have returned all the values correctly and in this way we are going to deal with this problem. So let's just jump on to the coding part now. Alright so let's just simply code it out. First of all I will be declaring a stack and that will store as you know it will store array of integers and okay so i have declared a stack and when our next function is called initially our result was one as you know and we were popping while the stack is not empty and what was the condition what we were checking we were checking whether the last element is less than or not than the current element okay so the last element we can check by peak of stack so stack dot peak and we have a having a look at the value at the last entered value so if it is less than or equal to the price then what we were doing we were simply adding its value in the result that we will be returning and we were popping it out why i have return it uh, here one because we have taken our result at the index one and at index zero it will be its value so we have to return result only and after that what we were doing we were pushing the current element so pushing the current element and it's of the form of an array as you know and here comes the part that we are pushing at index 0 we were pushing the price and at index 1 we are pushing the result and after that I will simply return result so I guess this will work let us see okay basic test cases are passed and accepted so that was the problem and I'll see you in the next video